The Netherlands Carillon is a unique monument in Arlington, Virginia that overlooks Washington, D.C. The people of the Netherlands gave the instrument in the 1950s to the people of the United States for their help during and after World War II. This gift represents a bond between the people of both nations. The Carillon sits on the western end of the National Mall between Arlington National Cemetery and the Marine Corps War Memorial. The stewardship of the Carillon is the responsibility of the National Park Service. The Dutch government proposed and funded a Carillon gift in early 1950s. In 1954, 49 bells arrived and were installed in a temporary tower in West Potomac Park. A permanent tower was built at its present location in Arlington Ridge Park. The 49 bells were installed in the newly completed tower and the Carolyn was officially dedicated on May 5, 1960, which was the 15th anniversary of the liberation of the Netherlands from the Nazis. The initial number of bells represented the 48 states and the District of Columbia that made up the United States at the time of the war. A small 50th bell was added in 1995 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II. The recently completed restoration is the fourth restoration in a series of renovations dating back decades. It had been 25 years since the last restoration and the tower had fallen into disrepair and the bells needed refurbishment. The National Park Service worked on the tower and the Royal Netherlands Embassy refurbished and tuned the bells in the Netherlands. The restoration included upgrades to the bells with three more bells being added with the instrument now having a total of 53 bells. The addition of these three bells converted the carillon to a concert pitch instrument and has now achieved a grand carillon status. The new bells range from very large to small and were named for people who played an important role in the history of the United States and in many other places in the world. One of the bells bears the name of General George C. Marshall, who helped rebuild Europe after World War II with the Marshall Plan. Another commemorates First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt's advocacy for human rights. The final of the three bells honors Dr. Martin Luther King's lifelong work in advancing civil rights. The restoration also included a 93-square-foot quartz-sized plaza and the enclosed low lava wall. Guarding the entrance to the plaza are two bronze lions. They represent the Dutch royal family and were designed by Dutch sculptor Paul Philip Koning. After a three-year rehabilitation project, the Carillon was dedicated on March 5, 2022. This date would mark 70 years since the Netherlands gifted the Carillon to the United States, and 62 years since the Carillon at its present location was dedicated. The instrument can be played automatically or manually from the enclosed cabin in the tower. During the daylight hours, the Carillon plays the Westminster chimes every 15 minutes. And during the summer months, concerts are held on Saturday afternoons. The Netherlands Carillon Tower stands 127 feet tall and contains a fenced-in observatory platform. 
Although this feature has been part of the tower since it opened in 1960, it is rarely open to the public. Nevertheless, even from the base of the tower, the location offers one of the best views of the iconic monuments in Washington, D.C., and it is worth a visit.